Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm bringing back the science, and I have a really cool new article for you on why you may not be motivated to work out. And the answer to this is super simple. So if you are struggling to motivate yourself to exercise, I've got the answer for you. In fact, I've got five answers for you. So if you are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. I'm excited you're here. I am here to provide you information that empowers you to be your best self. I'm on a mission to change chronic disease for the world, so I'm super excited you're here. Just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and let's dive into this study. Do a long fast one day, your blood sugar going up and down. We're in it together. Okay, so it's in Nature Magazine publication, which is a huge research magazine with very well-respected articles. So this one comes, even though it's a mouse study, it comes through a channel with a lot of eyeballs on it and a lot of respect. So here's what I want you to know, is that what this study found, and it just recently came out, by the way, so it's a fresh study, and what they found is that when we go out and work out, that our performance and our enjoyment of, those, of that workout relies on one thing, and it is a microbial pathway in our gut that gets stimulated when we are exercising. So let me talk this through for you for a moment, and then I'm gonna show you five things you can do. So you're out running around, and maybe you know it's the new year, you decided like, I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna hit all my fitness goals, but you hate every minute of it. Put in the comments if that's you. So what it could be is depletion of this microbe that stimulates performance and stimulates dopamine. So if you are going through your workout, hating every moment of it, it may be as simple as you don't have enough diversity in your microbiome, in your, in your gut. And if we bring that diversity back, if we bring the health back of your gut, what this article says is that you're going to not only improve performance more, but you're also gonna get a better dopamine high from your workouts. Really cool, right? So you're doing the same activity that you hate right now, but instead you're gonna enjoy it just by repopulating your gut. Super cool. So let me give you five things you can do to start to work on repopulating your gut, especially if you're in this new time of the new year and you're like, I really wanna hit my health goals, but I hate working out. I want you to try these five things. Okay, ready? First, Fasting, I, I've talked about it all over my channel here. Hopefully you all know and have seen that fasting is the absolute best repair for your gut microbiome. I've been in practice for over 25 years. I used to use a lot of supplements to be able to, to repair people's guts. I don't use any supplements. Once I've tried, I try fasting first and see if that clears it up and then I'll lean into supplements. So fasting, what it does, especially as you go into the longer fast, and I, I wrote about this in Fast Like a Girl, is that when you start to get to that 24 hour mark of fasting, what happens is your whole microbiome repopulates, plus you get this incredible uh, surge of intestinal stem cells. So what ends up happening is that you are repairing the terrain inside the gut so that those good microbes can thrive. And according to nature, when these good microbes thrive, now when you're exercising, you're gonna enjoy it a lot more and you're gonna be more motivated. I mean, dopamine is the molecule of more. So if you go out every time and work out and you get some dopamine, guess what dopamine's gonna do? It's gonna tell you go work out again because it, it's, that's the constant chase that dopamine gives us. So it's super cool. So fasting is a really, really important one. Um, in, the, in Fast Like a Girl, I talk about 24 hours being a magical marker uh, for repairing your gut and getting these intestinal stem cells. So I would say make sure that you're throwing a, a 24 hour fast in at least once a week. If you're new to fasting, work on training yourself to get to that point. Maybe you throw it in once, once a month. In Fast Like a Girl, I do have a whole pre-reset, a two-week uh, reset that you can do to prepare yourself for any length fast. So if you're new to fasting, go check that book out. But the first thing is fast. Okay, second thing, 
And hopefully those of you that are my tried and true followers um, know that breaking your fast matters. So anytime we have any kind of gut issue, I really like people to break their fast with the three Ps. And I wrote about it in Fast Like a Girl. It's polyphenol, probiotic, and prebiotic foods. And so these are your leafy green vegetables, like a salad. So a lot of your vegetables, a lot of your fruits, a lot of your olives, um, dark chocolate is a polyphenol food, um, a lot of your nuts and seeds. So make yourself like a really big salad to break that fast with, and you're just feeding all those microbes and making them stronger. One of my other favorite things to break a fast with is kefir. So if you have raw kefir, it literally has trillions of bacteria in it. And so it can really help with that repopulation. The magic combination to, to healing your microbial uh, diversity in your gut is to go into a longer fast and then break it with the three Ps. And I write all about that in Fast Like a Girl if you need more detail. Okay, third thing. This one, I hope you know, but there are certain foods that are going to deplete your microbiome. So I gave you two things to start adding in. Now I want to talk about something that you're going to want to take away. So a couple of the takeaways are going to be gluten is a big one. And let me explain why. If you are, and it depends where, I know we're a worldwide community here, but here in America, the gluten that you are eating, whether it's organic or not, is actually a hybrid gluten. And the hybrid gluten has in it something called BT toxin. And BT toxin has been, hybrid, has been genetically um, engineered into this type of wheat because it will actually destroy bugs. This is really beneficial to the farmer. But that BT toxin will destroy your microbiome. So I highly recommend, especially as you're moving into the new year, if you're looking for some some new tips on on how to improve your health, um, I really uh, encourage you to take wheat out. Just take it out for like a couple of weeks and see how you feel. See if your motivation for exercise goes up. See if you lose weight. See if the inflammation in your belly goes down. So after gluten, the other recommendations that I have are watch your oils. We've talked about that a lot here on this channel. Inflammatory oils are going to damage your gut. Um, Some of you might actually need to take dairy out, especially pasteurized dairy. I find raw dairy is usually typically better for the gut. um, But if, if you notice any bloating or constipation after you eat dairy, I recommend getting rid of dairy. And then the the last one on the food that I really would look at um, is sugar. Sugar really damages the microbiome. So when you're looking at this third tip and removing foods, gluten's number one. Then I would look at your oils. That would be the second thing. Then I would look for this specific thing. I would look at pasteurized dairy, and then I would look at sugar. If you pull all four of those out, you're really making a great step in. Um, to repairing your gut. And then you, if, you, if you match that with fasting and with breaking your fast uh, with the three Ps, I mean, now we're building momentum. And one of my favorite statements is you don't need motivation, you need momentum. So when we look at studies like this around what it takes to build up the motivation for exercise, we're really looking for momentum while we repair the gut so that you can enjoy your exercise even more. Sometimes with these modifications, it can happen immediately where you go out and you exercise and you feel incredible. And other times it's going to take a, you know, a couple of weeks of these habits for it to click so those microbes can grow and then you can improve in performance and you can improve your dopamine response while, while working out. Okay, number four. Number four is improve your food diversity. So what I've noticed in just working with so many people for so many years is that most of us are eating the same foods over and over and over again. I want you to remember that you have trillions of bacteria in your gut and you've got thousands of of different species of these bacteria and they all want different food. So if you just take, let's say you have a thousand different species in your gut If you're eating the same 50 foods over and over and over again, you're only feeding a small amount of these microbes. So those microbes start to get stronger, uh, out bullying bullying the other microbes and creating this what we call a monoculture, 
where you've got a, a one small group of bacteria that like rule the gut. Even if they're good, we want diversity. So really look at how you can bring in a lot of unique foods. I can tell you for me, when I go out to the um, a restaurant, I always look for the most unique food on the menu. I am looking for the thing that I don't normally cook at home, I don't normally eat. When we go to the farmer's market, we're always looking for the most unique vegetable or fruit that we have never had before. So it kind of becomes a game and can be quite fun, but if you're eating the same thing over and over again, you're no doubt depleting your microbiome. And according to nature, that could be affecting your motivation around uh, your workouts. So fun little hack that actually is really enjoyable to try. Okay, and then the last one, and this one's really interesting because I love to work out. I, um, I, you know, my background is actually as a competitive tennis player. And as I've moved into my uh, adult years, I've focused a lot on running. I love running. And I've noticed if I go and run out in nature, which is my fifth one, go work out in nature, that when I come home, I have a better high than if I run around my neighborhood. So I was thinking, as I was looking at this study, I was thinking, I wonder if that's because when we're in nature, we're breathing in different microbes. If you, I, when I go running in nature, I like to try to take my shoes off and get forest bathe a little bit, get my feet wet, hug a tree. Um, there's all these microbes out in nature. So when you pair exercise with that, with the um, microbial diversity of nature, is it possible that that's actually increasing your athletic performance and increasing dopamine, which is what this Nature um, article stated? So it's, a, it's really interesting when we've learned to really overcomplicate health. And when I see a study like this, and I know you need momentum to start to hit your health goals, and I know some of you don't like working out, my brain goes to the answer is actually really simple. And it's these five things that we can do to start to bring back the microbial diversity. And now we're going to have a better experience when we work out. Now we get momentum and now our motivation goes up. See how I did that? So small little steps to reap big results. And I'm a big fan of stacking different habits. So this one's really cool because we can stack food and fasting and nature um, and the microbiome all to, and then exercise all to help you hit your health goals. So as always, I hope that helps. I'm bringing you back a lot of science because I love it. Um, and when I see articles like this, I just feel like you need to know and I want to break it down so you can integrate it into your fasting lifestyle. And I also really want you to be the healthiest version of you in 2023. So let me know if that helps. Let me know in the comments which of those five are your favorite. Um, and if you've done any of those and noticed a shift in your performance or dopamine reaction from exercise, let me know that too. I always love your comments. So as always, I hope that helps. Okay, if you've made it this far in the video, it's a sign you definitely need to subscribe. And if you want to learn more, if you love that video and you want to dive into more of the information I have on this channel, go to this video.